Good morning. I can't see a thing. I'm gonna have to put my glasses on. I'm trying. I was trying to get away with not wearing them. I'm just. It's just nice to have a break from them on your face. And these are a bit wonky, and I keep pushing them up. And but I think I'm gonna have to wear them. I can't. I can see when I look in the in the um, um, magnified mirror. But then if I look to the to the viewfinder to the left of the um, lens, my camera. I can't see a thing. Can't see a thing. Oh, there we go. There I am. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to wear them. Okay, I'm trying to fix my jumper. Big thick jumper on because we're off to the Christmas market, so it might be very cold, it's all outside. I can never get it right. I love it. I've had it for years. Does that look right? Nah, the FC. I'm gonna go put some lippy on. I'm gonna walk to school. I've been putting my makeup on watching the sunrise above the houses. It's been beautiful. So we are off to school. Um gonna walk to school. That'll do all Christmassy. I'm going to put a bit of that red lippy on I had on yesterday because that felt quite nice and then I'm going to come back and pop the tea in the slow cooker and I'm going to go off to the Christmas markets in Newcastle. Okay, I'm going to chuck this chilli into the um, slow cooker as quick as I can and then we can get going and get on with our day. Just really, really quickly. I am going to do a lentil and bean chilli, I think. Not I think, I am. I don't know what beans I've got in the cupboard yet. So we'll have to have a look. I'm not doing any pre-cooking, I'm just chucking it straight in the oven and I think it'll be oven. Slow cooker. <laughs> oven. Um, what? What's that laugh? <laughs> Wasn't that funny, Kerry? Um, anyway, uh, going to, after a cold day out, I think it'll be really nice coming in, not having to cook because I won't be able to be bothered because we'll have been out busy doing all the fun Christmas things and um, the washing machine's on. I'm going to pause it <laughs> because it's rude and I'm talking to you and it's loads of background noise. There we go, that's better. It's bad enough that I'm um, chopping onions and making a racket with my knife and chopping board. I have the washing machine on as well. Um, I'm going to put some mushrooms, some peppers, and then we're going to have some, uh, oh, have I got any chipotle chilli paste? I might not, I'll have to find something else. Coriander, cinnamon, tomato puree, jalapenos, tin of tomatoes, some garlic paste, ooh, might have garlic paste, I just have to put regular garlic in. Brown sugar, black eyed beans, this says. Brown lentils, I haven't got brown lentils, I've got green lentils, I think. And some liquid seasoning, Maggi liquid seasoning, or you could use soy sauce instead. Some salsa, uh, a few tablespoons of like a salt, like a, just buy a jar of salsa and stick it in your chili, really, really nice. Um, some vegetable stock, a little bit of cocoa powder. Oh, yeah, so that'll be really, really nice, and an onion. So I'm going to crack on, get this in the slow cooker as quick as I possibly can so we can go and do all the festive stuff. That was almost a rookie mistake, to making a chilli with a white jumper on. No, let's not. <laughs> okay, let's get the rest of this done. out to the garage to get a tin of tomatoes because I couldn't find any and that is our tea ready for tonight. So I'm going to go run to the toilet, pop my shoes on and we're going to go to the Christmas markets. See you later. cider to walk around with because it's freezing and I'm just gonna have a wander around really I forgot my gloves so I'm really cold it's getting quite busy now because it's um, after 11 o'clock so 
see what we can find. It's mostly food, I think, though, but we'll have a look. Outside the market, the market's freezing, so we've come into the inside market, which is the Granger market, and it's been here for years and years and years, and I love it. So we're going to have a look around at all the cool shops in here. Hello, we are home from school. I've got the children's, oh, I don't know if I can show you this. I've just got other kids on them. I've got their little costumes, their little photographs of their school play. They're so cute. In this one. Uh, I'm just trying not to show any of the children. Look at them. Oh, they're adorable. It's just so lush. They're just dead, can you? <laughs> Love them. I'm so pleased it's Friday. Friday night, Steve's, well, I built a fire. Steve's brought a load of wood in and he's putting it down the side of the fire and I'll show you what we bought in town. So we went, bought nothing from the market because it was crazy expensive and it wasn't that good. Um, Carol bought some fudge, so that was nice. But then when we went into the Granger market, that was quite nice actually. So Steve wanted some of these misshaped biscuits because this is what he used to get with his nana when he was a kid. Um, Malteser biscuits and ginger sandwich biscuits with a mallow cream filling. So he used to get those in Manchester at the market when he was on sale. Sale when he was um, little. And then some Maysan gravy sauce and some Maysan curry sauce because it's the best and they just had it there and then. I thought, oh, I'll pick it up and it's got a year on the date. And then at the Marks and Spencers Penny Bazaar, um, which is apparently, I think if I remember it right, the oldest Marks and Spencers ever. And it's brilliant. We've got these for Aries for the summer. Some little cut off shorts. And they were, uh, do, 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 4 99 And this for the children, we're going to put the their day on it so they could change the day every day for how um, how many sleeps it is so that would be quite nice and that was 299 is it 299 249 and then there was 20% off so it was £5.98 for a pair of denim shorts and that would just go right they didn't have anything else unfortunately they did have a pair of jeans that I really liked which were £5.50 which I would have bought if they had them and then we went into Scorpio, which is the shoe shop. They say it's a Doc Martin shop, but they sell all sorts of stuff. And I got a new pair of boots. I'm so excited. My trainers that I'm wearing all the time, I'm slipping and sliding everywhere around in them. Steve treated me to a pair of boots. And these ones. I mean, I know they're not going to be everybody's taste, but they're green. And they are a big size. I managed to get a, I'm four and a half on one foot and a four and a third or something on the other one. So I have to get a five normally. In boots when you want to wear thick socks because the 
fours just don't fit my four and a half foot but these are really big so these are a four and they are you can see Harry can't see they're like furry all the way down inside all the way down to the toe and they're like tiny heel so it makes me five foot two <laughs> I'm not a total midget still a bit of a midget but you know tight short I'm not very rude to anybody I'm just little um, can't reach stuff <laughs> can't reach high things so they are a brand called Luna and these were £55 which and they're waterproof very important when you're in the winter and you live in the country or anywhere actually but I love them and that's all that matters isn't it <laughs> at the end of the day they've got to go on my feet not anybody else's but yeah love boots boots is my favorite I love shoes and shoes are my favorite thing to buy but boots more I know I'm wrecking them boots more so my absolute favorite love them olive they are olive green I've got a blue pair that are a, a brand called uh, Mustang love the Mustang boots are amazing I love them um, Luna waterproof exclusive styles functional materials breathable padded insoles comfortable durable handcrafted quality nice fashion footwear brand of the year 2016 to 2020 nice I think that's okay I think they're really good I love them as soon as the second I saw them on the shelf and Steve knew that I loved them because he said you can have them but he knows and I really really like them so very nice so that's it I've been and bought my uh, Christmas cake bits and a bottle of wine for this evening I'm going to have a glass of wine and play with the children and we'll have some tea later I need to stir that check on it the children have had Christmas dinner at school with Christmas crackers which they're thrilled about they've just changed now so I'm going to go and um, spend some time with them and I'll speak to you all again in a little while hello it's me I'm back it's much later, it is 7.55. The children are just about asleep, I think. There's no noise, they must be asleep. I've got some rice in for tea for Steve and I. I'm going to make tadik, which is a Persian, well, we've got a chicken slow cooker, which you saw earlier. And we've got um, rice that I'm cooking here. And then when that's like two thirds of the way cooked, I drain it and then I put a layer of sliced potatoes at the bottom of the pan with a little oil and butter, a little salt, put the potatoes back on, put some air holes in and I put a little bit of the rice water back into it. Tea towel over the over the pan lid. So I put the pan lid in the tea towel and then put the lid on with the tea towel around it and the potatoes will cook with steam and on a really low heat with the rice and it is just beautiful. They should be soft on one side and crispy on the other, if it works. I normally stick them to the pan. My friend Pato taught me how to do it. And um, every time I do it, she lives in Canada now, so every time I do it, I tag her and I'm like, Pato, Pato Jun, look at my tadik. So um, yeah, she's always like, good effort, even though it's rubbish. She's very kind to me. Um, so, Rice is cooking, that's nearly done. I'll put that in. I found my entry forms for the movie trail, so we're gonna finish that tonight. I did buy a bottle of wine somewhere, possibly in the fridge. Did Steve put them in the fridge? Nope, left them in the bag on the floor. Got me jammy bottoms on. You know, so uncomfy. I bought ginger wine, which is gonna go away. I love ginger, not gonna go away. Over the next couple of weeks, it's Christmas. <laughs> that little phrase again. My grandma used to make her own ginger wine, so my mum loves it, so I always used to want to taste. My grandma's was non-alcoholic. I can't find a really good non-alcoholic ginger wine that is strong. It's got to catch the back of your throat. So if you know of one, let me know. It is my mission. If not next year, I'm going to make my own. I am going to be my grandma. I was only 12 when we lost my grandma, so very long time ago and so I never got to learn how to do it. Um, sweet wine, 
I can't like um I can't find a really good dessert wine yet in the UK. We bought some when we were in France and they were amazing. There doesn't seem to be a lot of selection. And that was Waitrose, and Waitrose normally have the better ones. So that was just it was only a fiver, so it <clears throat> might taste like like rose water you make for perfume when you're a kid. It might not be very nice. Um and this is what I'm gonna have a glass of tonight. This is if you're interested, you might not care. Um it's a Chenin Blanc from Samoa when we went on holiday this year and it's amazing. It has, it's tropically. It's dry. It's a little tropical. Um, just a, not this particular one. Just if you maybe if you're looking for a gift, you know not to buy someone and they like white wine. And um, the Marlborough Estate Sauvignon Blanc, New Zealand is always really popular. But hmm, I don't know. I've gone on to the Shannon, which is a type of grape, and the ones in the Loire Valley I really like. I like South African ones and I like the. I try and get the ones from where we go on holiday at the moment because I quite like them. And then when we change and go to a different somewhere else, I like those ones. It's just what you do, isn't it? Oh yeah, I've, I've been there, I like those ones. I don't know why we do it, but I'm going to have a glass of that. And I'm going to go and search for my voucher for our lunch tomorrow first while this is cooking once I put the potatoes in, put the dishes away fires on, I've tidied up, the children had a mad 45 minutes when they came in from school to run off their energy and we just let them, you just let them go on with it and they just were making each other giggle, it was amazing. And that's it, that is all, it's been a lovely day, it's been a lovely day and Steve's been off all day and it's just been lush and Christmas cake first thing in the morning, that'll be good, rum in my cake at 8 o'clock in the morning, but it'll be fine, it'll be wonderful. And anything else? Anything else, Kerry? No. I think that's about it. I don't, I've got a cold sore. It's the fourth cold sore. And I'm angry at the camera lens <laughs> and you guys, because you didn't cause it, that I've had in five weeks. Fourth. I get about three or four days break between them. I've had enough. Came up in the middle of the day while I was in the car. I can't get rid of them. It's constant. I'll probably get seven or eight. Um, maybe even more over the winter. I'm absolutely sick of it. You can hardly see it. It's just there at the bottom. But I've got a scar at the top of my lip here. That red mark is a cold sore. And then I've got, I had a light one there. It seemed to fade a bit. Sick of my life. If anybody knows anything, I don't think there is anything that can help, is there? But it's just very frustrating. It hurts like when you eat or you drink something or you like bite your lip and forget it's there. I don't mind, I've had them since I was about eight years old or something. But anyway, not to drone on, I'm not complaining, it's just frustrating. Um, that is all. I'm going to go find this voucher, put the dishes away, find this voucher. I've got to find it. I keep this in my, wherever my safe place was. These were inside the gin magazine from the Craft Gin Club, inside the um, cabinet that I keep all my crockery and my um, glasses in. So who knows where the voucher is? Who knows? I hope you've all had a wonderful Friday. It will be Saturday morning now by the time I upload this. Have a fabulous Saturday. It is our, is it our penultimate Saturday before Christmas? Oh no, we've got one more to go. Before Christmas Eve. So, well, a week left. Getting there. It's going to be lush. It's going to be fabulous. We've got all our Christmas performances for the children at school this week. So it's going to be fab. Right. Must get on. Goggle box is on at nine o'clock. I've got an hour. Get myself sorted out, get myself situated, and I'm going to watch Gogglebox. See you later. Bye.